Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how we have tapped into the power of AI agent to help us with client onboarding. We've done this without any coding and it saved us, in turn it saved us tens of hours and we've actually rolled this framework out for our client and see significant benefit. So without further ado guys, I put together a quick document here that can help you understand step by step as to how you can get started and how you can implement this for yourself or for your clients um, for all other, other, any other organization. So, um, this is a table of content that we put together just so it helps um, for you to understand them in a structure <laughs> in a structured manner. I'm I'm pretty structured, right? So, in a structured manner, what it what 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 is all about, um, and and how you can get started. So hopefully this helps. Um, on a very high level, um, this is what you will learn, right? And very often for everyone today is the, you know, what what is AI and how that's going to disrupt. A lot of people are still uh, on the fence where some are skeptical towards how AI can do what AI can do and some of them have the fear of uh, missing out <laughs> as to what AI uh, can already do but don't know how to start so I hope this guide can help you get started and it's simple enough for you to consume all the information uh, for you to take away today to start playing slash implement AI agents for a very simple workflow within your business called client onboarding okay so without further ado a uh, Let's move on to the AI agent workflow. Very simple workflow here, guys. We have the how, how we trigger automation often comes from once the first step itself, right? So this in this example here, guys, we have the on-form submission. We built the flow, which I'll show you towards the end of this presentation, and we built everything on NAN. So as we submit the form, we want to, we tap into the power of to, to, to two agents. One of them is actually an email agent. The other one is a Google Sheet, you know, a, a, a task agent, if you like. So email agent will be responsible to compile the email to confirm the client onboarding. And the other one is to do, you know, uh, file storage or, 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 or recording. And we choose Google Sheet on this occasion. So I will showcase the tech stack. Very, very simple stack, tech stack here, just to get you guys across what and how AI agent can do. Obviously with AI agent, then we tap into GPT, AKA OpenAI through API, then we'll be able to pull some of this intelligence and make the big, make the email more customized slash personalized to um, your yourself or your clients. So how does it work? In any end, it looks like that, right? So as you start to create your first module, it will look something like that as you add the first step. The first one we want to select guys is the on-form submission. Right, so if you put an in form, it will prompt a screen that looks like this. And um, here's a step by step um, where you can search for it. And I've already put that in the document here for you. And as you click on the node scrolling down, you'll be able to start to test it out. We have our own test URL. You may have you, you may want to, you know, NNN or actually does offer a free uh, trial uh, on the cloud version. What we've done though is we have opt to the self-hosted version where we host our own NAN on this server. If you want to learn a bit more on how to roll out your own NAN in the server, just comment in the section below and let me know and we will create a video for that. I think, yeah, so moving on into the next section here, guys, then you have your own server slash URL that you put in. Okay, this is a form title which you can put it, you can, you can name it naturally, I'll name it client onboarding. And the form description is just for you to remember what it is. So these are the form elements that we've configured, right? So we've got few names and then obviously like any other form element type should be text. Okay. Moving on then we have all these things that we've outlined for you. As you can see here, you can follow them step by step. You can have title description, just as an example, if obviously if you want to further customize any of this, you can move ahead and do your customization. You can add you know, from title description through um, drop downs and whatnot, depending on your the, the use case that you're trying to solve. But on a very high level, we picked very, very simple entries, which includes name, email, company industry. And as part of client onboarding, often we ask questions like, what do you, what do you wish to achieve out of this collaboration? So you can word it however you like, but it will be a multi-line text. So yeah, I think that's the form built. Now I'm going to show you how to, you know, sort of connect this into an AI agent. So as you click 
into any of this and you can you, know, you can you can start to select um, um, a module right so as you click here and you can do AI agent right it has got the icon here and when you do that then you can start to select what type of agent you would like to configure so normally I'll go with the first one sometimes i will go with the second one depending on the use case on this occasion then we've gone with the first one and you can see here um, you can start to do the prompts and here is where you start to train your agent to do very very simple or advanced operations if you like so that is what we put in as part of the AI agent prompt Lisa uh, can you please create a welcome email this is the email flow so we have the can you please create a welcome email based on the information and the whole email will be personalized towards the response of your client via the form that I've uh, showed you before so yeah I won't read the, all this but passing variable is something that I will mention here so let me show you how that is passed so you pass the variable to AI element oh yeah so here you can see all these elements are passed through a JSON output okay so once you have the uh, the agent here the, the prompt message inserted right and what you what you then see is when you, when you run it all the data that get captured in this particular module will get sent through in the JSON output um, that get passed into um, OpenAI and OpenAI will then consume or consume this 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 entry uh, or and start to prompt output separately and so one of the things that will happen then is it will start to you know sort of take in all these variables and start to be able to uh, create a custom output through all these modules and from there it will go into it will show you an output example as you test it out and it will look something like that and it will say how oh, welcome ABC or XYZ Corp and we are, we're excited to see you coming on board da -da 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 -da. and so this is in a way personalized this will give you an idea how to further customize if you like and take this use case to the next level depending on um, how, how how you structure how you structure your your onboarding for a specific niche slash industry okay without da -da -da -da. so let me go into the next section here the image is a bit faulty here so I'll fix that that's not a problem but um, this is an again very similar step to the one before but this one is no this is actually the so this is a, a replicate of the fix that um, a step that was similar to this guy what I wanted to talk about next is actually the email side of things so once you're connected and in end with the email you can then have a flow that looks like this and it will have a yeah this is how you connect your gmail gmail is you know when you, when you want to connect your gmail you will let me show you live here boom, 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 double click yeah so this is how it looks like uh, as you configure it actually let me just show you how it looks like here this is very similar to zapier or make if you have done that make or zapier before nothing here is coding you just pretty much clicking buttons right so you can have email I would say send a message okay and then it will look something like that and you start to configure them based on what you need so this is what I've connected with this is a message obviously and then operation you click send this is you can make variable for this one okay so in here let me show you um, for the variable you then pick the JSON message that has email in here and then met subject you pick it from uh, the previous step as well keep it HTML and from there actually keep it H HTML if you have you know if you want to shoot out like beautiful email based on your needs but to keep it simple I would recommend text okay and once you have done that then you can add a what we call a summary agent to start to summarize and record all this client onboarding automation that you've done into a Google you know a G sheet just to keep it simple G sheet is also to me a database an intermediate the in, in intermediary we call it a middle uh, let's call it a database for now right so 
the, the idea here when it comes to automation is that every time you send something out through a trigger of sort, you want to be able to then track it through a dashboard. So Google Sheet can be treated as a dashboard as well, as well as a, a database because you can, you can see it very clearly line by line, row by row as to what has gone out, right? So here is an AI agent that helps you compile all the information that you have sent out and give you a clear login so that you and if you have a team, if you have a team, then you and your team can start to collaborate and understand which client has been onboarded, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, yep. So, in the prompt user here, so we've come to this step here where we create the AI agent. Again, we link it to the Open AI module. And from AI, open AI module, then now that I remember that's you know all the modules we have selected G GPT 4.0. Okay, this is the latest one, and I recommend that as well. It has got capabilities now to create images, so you can play with that. And this is the example you know prompt that we you know you can see as part of the outcome. So again, in any end, everything is tied to JSON. Everything is in, in a, we call this a variable, so everything's sort of passed through this JSON variable and you can see, you know, this uh, example title that we've put in as part of the form and the answer will come on the right hand side here. Okay. So how to test your node, you can always click test step. Let me just show you how you can always click test workflow here, or you can always test the step as you click into it. Okay. This is this orange button here. Dun, 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 dun. Moving on to again, very similar to what we've done for the email agent, we can do uh, for the Google, uh, Google Sheet agent as well. So, this is how you do it you connect another OpenAI here, and within there, follow this guide here to prompt in all the words that you need to do. Right? Clear step. You can even copy paste some of the words that we have put in the guide, and from there, actually follow the green one. And then from there, you can test out the node by clicking the orange button again. As you connect to your so-called database or your dashboard in Google Sheet, uh, you then want to be able to number. You know, first of all, you need to connect it, connect your Google, connect the back to you via your account. Um, if you need to use uh, API, then go into Google Cloud Console, okay, and set it up through off or off 2.0, okay. And then you'll be able to see this module getting connected perfectly. And from there, you can plug in your, um, you can plug in your, your document ID here. So Google Drive or Google Sheet always come with an ID at the end of the URL. So pay attention to that, grab that ID and put it in here. And then from there, you can again test the step and this will be generated as part of the outcome, the example outcome, if that makes sense. Okay. So how that's, how it all looks like, uh, this is a preview as to how your, your Google sheet will look like. It's not pretty, but you can start to format them accordingly using Google apps script, or you can even put a bit more, put um, uh, some formatters in steps in here to make this, to make this, perfectly fit within the table. For us, this is a logging tool, so we didn't exactly care if, it's, if, it, if it fits. We just want to see, be able to see the record and we keep, uh, keep track on, okay, you know, client A has been onboarded, great. We can see a row here for in, in due course if there's a requirement for us to start using this as a dashboard, format is better. So if you do want to learn how to format Google Sheet, just let us know and I may potentially create another video to show you how. Okay, that is that sums up my presentation here, guys. As you create test workflow, it will, it will turn green, right? And if it has some of them, some of the boxes that start to turn into non green, aka orange or red, <laughs> then you, will, you have faced a slight issue, and that's where automation comes. Automation becomes fun, right? You'll you start to you'll start to troubleshoot them and try to turn them all to green. So. Guys, I hope this video makes sense and you find it helpful. If you have any question at all, do reach out to me. We help companies do automation, AI workflows and build AI agents. On top of that, we create elite looking dashboards to help our client, to help other businesses visualize everything in one stop shop. So if 
you guys need anything or have any question at all, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, you have a good day.